Hello everyone, welcome back to TechLoud channel. In today's video, we are going to unravel the intricate working of Ethernet frames, the backbone of data transmission within local area network. So let's get started. An Ethernet frame is a structure of data link layer protocol unit encapsulation that enables devices to communicate over a network. This uses the underlying Ethernet physical layer transport mechanism. So let's break down its components. At the beginning of an Ethernet frame, we have the preamble and start frame delimiter. These bit sequences synchronizes the sender and receiver and preparing them for the incoming data. Next, we see the MAC address, destination address and source address, which is the MAC address media access control. The destination MAC identifies where the frame is headed while the source MAC reveals its origin. Following this, there is a type or length of field indicating either the type of data within the frame or its length, the size of the data and the type of the data. Then comes the payload means the data field. So the actual data being sent across the network under this field. Then we have the frame check sequence CRC. So this frame check sequence is a crucial part ensuring data integrity by verifying the accuracy of the transmitted frame. Further, now let's observe how these Ethernet frames are transmitted across devices within a network. So what exactly happened? Devices utilize the CSMA-CD algorithm to minimize the data collision. They listen to the network before transmitting the data, then which avoid conflicts when multiple devices attempt to send information simultaneously at the same time to the destination. In case, if a collision occurs, device employ collision detection and pause briefly and then retransmit their data after a random time of delay, which reducing the likelihood of further collision. Ethernet frames comes in various formats such as Ethernet 2, IEEE 802.3 and IEEE 802.2, each with distinct frame structure and protocol. For example, Ethernet 2 is commonly used in most LAN network environment. You can see here Ethernet 2. You can find it under a Wireshark capture. While the IEEE 802.3 frames are prevalent in older network, old kinds of network use this one. Then IEEE 802.2 frames on the other hand are often seen a token ring network. Usually, Ethernet frames are the unsung heroes behind many everyday activity, whether you are transferring files, streaming videos, engaging in online gaming. These frames silently ensure seamless data transmission in the background. Now, let's see some advantage and disadvantage of the Ethernet frames. So, the advantage of Ethernet frame is first simple format. The Ethernet frame format is simple and easy to understand, making it easy to implement and troubleshoot Ethernet networks. Next, flexibility. The Ethernet frame format is flexible and can accommodate different data size and the network topology, making it suitable for a wide range of network application. It is widely adopted. The Ethernet frame format is widely adopted and supported by a large number of vendors and the network devices ensuring compatibility and interoperability. It has the good one error detection. So the Ethernet frame format include a CRC cyclic redundancy check field for error detection, which help to ensure data integrity during the transmission, which help to ensure the data is not tampered during the transmission. It support the VLANs. So the Ethernet frame format support virtual local area network, which allow administrator to logically partition a physical LAN, a big physical LAN into multiple smaller virtual LAN 
for improved network management and security. Let's see the disadvantage. So this there is a limited frame size in the Ethernet frame format has a maximum frame size of 1500 bytes which can limit the amount of data that can be transmitted in a single frame and can result in increased overhead due to fragmentation and disassembly or the larger packet. Broadcast Storm Ethernet network uses broadcast transmission to frame to all devices on the network which can lead to broadcast storms if too many devices send broadcast frames simultaneously resulting in network congestion and performance issue that is being protected by the CSMACD. Security vulnerabilities. The Ethernet frame format does not include built-in security features making Ethernet network vulnerable to security threats such as eavesdropping and spoofing. It has the limited speed. That's a problem. Ethernet network has a limited maximum speed which may not be sufficient for higher speed application or large scale network. Then it has the distance limit also. The maximum distance between two devices on an Ethernet network is limited which can restrict the physical coverage of the network. So this is all about the Ethernet frame. And that's a wrap on our exploration of Ethernet frames today. I hope this deeper dive has shed light on their importance in the networking. Remember to like, share and subscribe for more tech insight. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, keep exploring the world of technology. Thank you so much.